Hi there, I'm William uh, at Woodhouse Industries. I'm just going to show you a little problem that hydraulic wood misers get occasionally in case you're struggling with it and how to fix it. Um, you may find if you've got a wood miser with hydraulic controls that occasionally one or more of the, um, the levers stops working and there's just a couple of little things uh, you can have a quick look at and adjust. It's, it's quite an easy problem to sort out. Um, if you've not been in your hydraulic box before, this is how it all looks. You've got your bank of hydraulic valves and their hoses with a, a pressure gauge on. Um, and then this is a, a super model, so we've got two pumps on the go. I believe some of the other models just have one pump. And then these two here are a hydraulic solenoid for each of the pumps. So that's a big switch that's actuated uh, by a little micro switch here, uh, if you can see there's a little, um, uh, little lever there. So basically whenever you operate any of these levers, apart from this one, which I've, the log loader, which I've purposely put out of action, um, you will make this little bar here move, I don't know if you can see, so it, bar, the long bar with a load of little fingers on each of those valves moves one of the fingers and then this end finger come on you know you want to re focus this end finger pushes down on the micro switch here and whenever that's pushed down the um, that feeds up to the solenoids and they fire up um, what I've done here on on this one is to actually purposefully make a bit of a gap that's just an, an allen key in there um, so that um, that is not actually when this little pin here is moved in and out by the arm uh, it's not actually contacting and making this move so if you're getting one uh, hydraulic function not working then you need to get in and adjust it the sprung are quite easy to do you just loosen them off and that will click forward and uh, it'll be touching its pin and then when we come back up here and operate operate the loader that'll move. Um, a lot of the times if you're getting more than one uh, not working then the micro switch needs to be adjusted so you can either slacken its screws uh, I mean I've got a non-standard micro switch on there I found, found a, uh, a cheaper source for those I, I think they carry a fair bit of current and occasionally they, they break but um, so there's two ways you can go about it you can either slacken the adjustment screws and move your micro switch up and down so the roller is in better contact or you can adjust this arm here. You can see you probably want a bit of contact, but if that's locked on, if that's too, too if that's adjusted too far down, then you run the risk of the pump staying on when you when you're not pressing the, any of the levers. Um, so yeah, you do, that's that's just again just adjusted by a little grub screw on top. I think this is something like a two and a half three millimeter um, Allen key. Um, so yeah that's the adjustment I have had these switches fail in the past um, and then as you get you home you can you can um, if you just need to get a log or two finished off you can actually just tap the wires together um, when you need to run the pump so for instance if, if that switch wasn't working uh, and you needed one of the levers to work you pull the lever down just squeeze the wires together and that will um, bring power up to the solenoid and, uh, and the pumps will run. Um, the other thing is in this cartridge here, a bit of wind, is um, it's a bit fiddly to do, excuse me. In this cartridge here there's a little um, a little cartridge, a little, a little round continental style fuse that's sort of open to the elements so they do um, they do get corrosion on the ends so if you're getting intermittent problems or it dies off just check that that is whether that's clean or not. I'm sorry the camera's not focusing very well. I must get that sorted out. So yeah, check the check the fuse. Check down inside the holders because they can get um, corroded as well. They're not the best quality steel. Oh sorry, there's a bit of brass in that one. Um, yeah, so they should be okay. They're brass, but it, again, you might get a bit of green corrosion or whatever. And then these fuses, they do go wrong quite easily. Obviously they may blow as well. Um, 
but yeah that's 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 a few other things to check so it's um just to recap alignment on each of the individual tabs for each of the levers and then there's one main tab that presses the micro switch down and then there's the fuse and then you you may end up also having a, a solenoid problem i've not had either of these fail but there's um there's another solenoid um, down in here which is uh, operated by the key. If I switch off, you'll just listen. Clonk. So whenever you switch off the key, you'll hear that clonking. And what that does is it cuts the power from the battery to the solenoid and then down to your hydraulics rail here. Well, that's a point. Um, sometimes if your rail is grubby, or if the little contact block that sprung and lives in there, um, if that gets grubby, you, you'll get, um, or if the spring gets jammed up with sawdust, you'll get problems with the, the power rail getting power from the battery, getting power from the battery uh, down through that block and then along the rail. Um, so yeah, you, know, you can have problems with the solenoid, uh, the rail, <laughs> so, sounds like it goes wrong all the time. It's not. It can just be the occasional little annoying fault. Uh, and then obviously, as well as the positive feed to the hydraulics, which is this copper rail, there's also an, an earth, uh, or a return to, to negative, which is a block underneath the rail here. Um, so again, that could get sawdust or bark jammed on it. So it could leave you without, um, without hydraulics. Hopefully, that's not too complicated or confusing uh, let me know if you get any problems or if that helps i'll um see you later uh hopefully i'll be doing more with my maintenance videos um let me know if there's any problems you're having thanks very much bye bye